Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate. It looks like we have to go after the Queen of Plague. Queen of Plague, terror of mankind. You will not be the one to bury her. I, I don't imagine we'll get through this, but we can give it a shot. Pick up some interesting tokens. Chase down a Minotaur. What brings you to play the game? Oh. Ha. I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Charity! You do have a charitable heart. Okay. Or at least you have had thus far. You meet the priest again. The children were warmed by your generosity last time. Would you be willing to save a few lives again? So we'll give him food. A worthy decision, the priest exclaims. We're going to give him 20. Um... How many young ones will see another summer due to your generosity? And the priest humbly accepts your provisions. Let me see if I have anything in my sack with which to reward such generosity. Because who cares if we fail, we get the token. A choice. Select your desire. I mean, who cares if we fail, you know, the running around afterwards? So we did get a blessing, Useful. but we got the cards token, and that's truly really important. Okay, let's try druids, and then we'll go to the maiden and the helpful priest afterward, so we can get provisions from the maiden. An expedition. Press on. All right. Druids. With only three food, you'd better hope to finish this quickly, or hunger will finish it for you. When this okay, you're approached by a group of mysterious team. robed people. One of the robed figures addresses you. You look well accustomed to battle. Would you like to earn some coin? And, uh, yeah, let's ask for details. We are druids wishing to perform certain rituals over the coming weeks. These activities must take place at specific times and places. We cannot risk any interruptions, such as from creatures or bandits. We will pay gold to one who protects us during the ceremonies. We will accept. The first ceremony will be on the, at the Sacred Stones at exactly midday on the summer solstice. And the card's token is now ours. We shall see you there. I have foreseen it. Oh, we'd have to give the priest half of our food, so we're not going to do that. Pitiful. Okay. We'll ask for supplies. Two food game cards. Five food. I'm sure you agree. Five that. food. Nice. Okay. Work your way through the woods and see what lies beyond. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? The old graveyard. No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Okay, well we got through the graveyard fine. Of course. I am different. My powers are genuine. Oh. Let's go try the devil's wager. If cuz if we if we fail doing that, then we'll unlock the charity token and whatever. I mean, we're just We're just trying to open up the game a little at this point. And if we survive, oh, we can't do the blood auction if we survive. A challenge for you, and a token. Okay. If a devil appears in a puff of smoke and fixes its evil gaze upon you. Greetings, mortal. We draw the four of skulls. If you can defeat my minions without taking a scratch, I will reward you with gold and magic trinkets. Let's accept. Excellent! The devil cries with glee, points at you with crooked, a crooked finger, saying, "Let's see you prove it." 
You said you could do it without a scratch, but I'll be generous and leave you a little more than that. Okay. Eight, eight health. Eight. He just hit me? And we did it! Awesome! That is fantastic. Love that. Hmm, you're not dead! That is unexpected! The devil waves his hand, par hand partially healing you. The card's token is now yours. Partially healing us means completely healing us. So we draw one equipment. We get the healer's ring. Wealth and health, a recipe for a happy life. I doubt things will end that way, mind you. So whenever the player receives healing, they also gain plus one gold. No benefit if they were already fully healed. Draw one equipment, I need food. Reveals stair encounters upon entering a level and grants a gold bonus for revealing every encounter on a level. Uh, no. Are you sure that's the right approach? Gain one food. And draw three, select one to keep. Frost fang, fang, Mage Strike, or Mage Mask. So the Mage's Mask uh, hits on a player have a 20% chance of creating a Mage, mage Shield create, around them. Be used against them. Mage Strike is uh, press R1 to strike a random opponent with... Press R1 button to strike a random opponent with a powerful Lightning Strike. Or Frost Fang. Uh, it's Mage Strike. We don't have an artifact, so we'll take that. And then I think what we're gonna do... Is we're gonna go this way. We're gonna hit the shop. And we're gonna sell something and buy food, I think. So we sell items. We can sell... Ugh, none of this is worth much. I'm gonna sell Mage Strike. I'm gonna buy food. I can get five for the gold I have. It's not enough. But, we can try the blood auction, and maybe we'll get lucky. It's always the same card. So diabolical. But as long as there is game, well, in your hands be it. And we failed. You lose the bid. The vampires take a break before the next item, and you decide to leave before they take an interest in you. Alright. It's gonna cost us almost all of our food to get off of this level. It's gonna cost us exactly all of our food. And maybe we'll find something like I don't know. I really, I really don't know what we could possibly. At their heart, all games are about power, are they not? The Apprentice! The acquiring of power, the retaining of power, and most importantly, the use of 
pal. One day you happen upon a young wizard practicing his magic in the forest. He greets you in a friendly manner and beckons you closer. Since we have been forced to leave our sacred tower, we must make our own way in this world. For a small fee, I could transport you to a destination in a faraway land. Oh, and I can't... I have to decline. The wizard shrugs and goes back to practicing his wand swing. <laughs> like, his wand swing. Marketplace! Not a good day to be in Stiegel. So few are. You arrive at the town of Stiegel on market day. The markets are selling food today. You may offer some gold to the market and see how much food it is worth today. We bid half our gold. We can attempt to steal some food from the market, but let's bid half our gold and see what we get. You deliver your gold to the markets and wait for the trading to finish. A man approaches you with a sack containing the Every food your gold managed to secure. Must eat or die. Huge failure! You open the bag to discover a lonely apple sitting inside. Gain one food. Well, that's one more than we had. Call for the priest. We... Can't really do anything. But now we're starving. Twisted Canyon! I have to try, uh, because I, well, I didn't have to try, and I failed, so I get pain cards. Ten health. Ouch. Ten health per curse? Wow. All right. Your situation is starting to look hopeless. It is starting to look hopeless. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to sell everything. I'm going to sell just everything. A chance to buy more food. You must be relieved. All right. So we sell desperate measures. We sell Angel Wing. I'll sell the medium armor. I, I can't sell the shield. I need it. And I, I don't want to sell the rings just in case. So buy food. I'm sure you're grateful. Buys us nine, but we survived. Horrible. Holy Forge, and we do not have the metal. Brotherhood of Peace in the service of war. Never trust a priest. On a dusty, lonely plain, you come across the scattered remains of an old monastery. Searching the building, you meet an old man dressed in dirty robes. Long ago, we of the Brotherhood forged holy weapons to support the war against the infidels. But the infidels were strong, and one day, one of their raiding parties took us by surprise. They destroyed most of our tools and took our supplies, including all of the rare metal ore that we used to craft our weapons. King's army never returned after that day. I know not what became of them in the years that followed. I stayed here all these years, but only the ghosts remained to keep me company. All the others who survived the attack left long ago. And we can't do anything, because you bid the monk farewell and leave him standing in the silent, empty ruin. Because we don't have the... we don't have the... the metal ore. I, I'm one ring short of Greenboro Forest. Better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. I need three rings for Greenboro Forest to work. Even now her brood gathers. Mr. Lionel. Okay, we'll ask him what he needs. Goblin immediately begins to wander around your person, prodding and poking at your weapons in a parable before making a sudden grab at something. He took one of my rings. He then sits considering the view for a while before slapping the table with his hand. Aha, I know what you need. Here. And he pulls out a large empty cloth sack and holds it open for you. Reach in and you will receive your heart's desire. And we got a new... Yeah. Every third blow from undead enemies is reflected back against them. For many centuries, 
Thankfully, there exist many tools we'll take for their destruction if you can find them. Alright, when we come back, more of this. Bye, everybody.